Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. This is the brother Isaac with the Pittsburgh GMS camp coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha HaKodash. Lord willing, this is edifying. All right. And I just want to go into this lesson real quick. Uh, I was watching the news. All right, and uh, you know they was talking about this whole Palestinian uh, Israeli conflict, right? And uh, you know, basically they was talking about how they was uh, trying to evict the, uh, the, uh, the Palestinians out of their homes, and um, you know things of that nature. Man, they were speaking about certain things, and uh, you know, it just kind of they were talking about Jerusalem. And they were talking about how the 1948ers claimed Jerusalem as their Salaki, as their main base of, you know, operations. That's the that's the holy city, you know, and there's holy land there, you know, so on and so forth, right? But they were also speaking about how the Palestinians consider right the same thing for 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 their they consider it the, the holy land for them as well, all right, and how. They felt it was wrong that the that the uh, that the uh, 1948ers was kicking them out, and so just you know, of course, us being in this troop, we understand like those are not the people that inhabit that land, you know. And they were just talking about how there was been this conflict and this back and forth and everything. And I just thought to myself, where does it say in the scriptures that we're going to share the holy land, you know? Where in the scriptures does it say, and thou shalt have a perpetual you know, back and forth with, with the heathen concerning thy land. They don't say that. It says that when, when we return to the land that we're going to be gathered back, okay, we're going to be gathered from the four winds of heaven and taken to our holy land by Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, and that was going to be it. We was going to rule that kingdom forever and ever. You know, it said that it shall not be given unto others, right? When it says that the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, and the kingdom shall not be left to others, you know. So the kingdom's not going to be left to other people. We're not going to have to. We're not going to have to sit here and argue back and forth of, you know, this is our. This is our part of the Israel. This is our part of Israel. No, you get out of here. No, we're going to go to court. No, we're going to have a, you know, all that stuff. I mean, there's things that blatantly depict these people as not being a fulfillment of prophecy in any form, shape, form, or, fa or fashion. But these people, these Christians, man, you know, these fake Christians, they go around, you know, making these false claims, you know, such as no, uh, you know, no cab, no class Malone, you know, he, he'll, he'll come out of his mouth, out of his slick snake devil mouth and say, well, I believe that they are the people. I believe, you know, which is a baseless claim and in a, in a, in a, in a, in a just an erroneous belief, you know, it's not based in any, any scriptural fact. It's based in what you've been taught, you know, but like I said, like I said once before, if vocab admits that the Israelites are correct in the doctrine, then that means that everything he's learned is a lie. That means he would have to admit that he doesn't know shit, that he doesn't know any any, pro any prophecy, you know, he doesn't understand the scriptures, and that we were right all along, but he can't do that because he's, he's spoken too much slander. He would lose too much credibility with the you know, the, the little followers that blindly follow him, man. You know? These Christians, they just like to see a back and forth. They like to be entertained. Are, are you entertained? You know? That's what it is to these people, man. Entertainment. But at the end of the day, this is serious, you know? The 144,000, the elect, being sealed is serious. And that should be our duty as believers of the faith, you know? That should be our uh, motivation: is to seal the elect, so that this wicked kingdom can 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 stop, can stop, can cease to exist. All right, so that the kingdom of heaven can be ushered in. All right, because the scriptures tell us. All right, that until the that which is sown in wickedness be removed, then can it not be, uh, then can it not come which is sown in righteousness. Until this place be done away with, the kingdom of heaven can't coexist. With, with this wicked, you think that in the Holy Land, it's gonna be a group of people worshiping they they idol, 
and then a group of people worshiping Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, arguing over who, arguing over the land. We want to worship. We want to worship the cobblestone, and well, we want to worship this. We want to go to the welling wall. Which, you know, them, them people don't worship Yahweh by Shimei Abishai anyway. What, what does worshiping the Most High have to do with humping the wall? You know, completing the act. You know, look like you air humping the wall. What does that have to do with anything? You know? Those 48 ers don't even follow the scriptures anyway. They follow the Talmud. You know? Which is their oral tradition. You know, now of course we started off, the, the truth started off as an oral tradition, okay? But it was written into the, into the scriptures, man. We don't need no other books. The scriptures tell you that explicitly. You know, none of these shall fail, and none shall want her mate. You know, seek ye out of the book of the, uh, of the Lord and read, none of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. Okay? So, I mean, the Most High, the scriptures say that the, the, uh, the prophecies of the book was of no private interpretation. But the Most High, but men wrote it as they were inspired by the Most High. The Most High put the Spirit in them, in, in, in spirit, the Spirit in them, inspired for them to write these scriptures, okay? So that they may come to pass, you know? But you know, of course these heathens have to have to fulfill their role in this whole ordeal. You know, that's why the scriptures say, unto the heathen the most high save, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou should take my covenant in thy mouth? And that's what these heathens, these 48 are doing. They're, they're claiming to be the people. They're claiming to be the fulfillment of prophecy. They're claiming to be the inheritors of the covenant, which includes the land. You know? It is what it is, man. I just find it laughable, though, that these, you know, it's these people, you know, it's funny, too, because I, what was that guy's name? It was one of them guys, uh, one of them presidents of one of them, one of them countries, man. He said, uh, you know, you left here, you left here black and you came back white. Speaking of those false Jews, man. You know, you left black and you came back white. You know? Because the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites, man. We're, the, we're God's people. We're the children of the Most High, man. Ain't no arguing about it. As these Christians like to do. But, uh, you know, hey, man, I ain't gonna drag it out too long, man. I just want to talk about that, like, Scriptures are plain. The scriptures are clear, and they give signs. You know, you, you, when you read Deuteronomy 28, it says there should be a sign and a wonder upon thy people and upon thy seed forever. You know, forever, man. Until you have a shy, until the Messiah returns, you know, and takes the curse away from us, then there will be a curse. You know, and y'all can't claim to say, well, we you know we're keeping the law, so the curses are removed. No, y'all not keeping the laws. Y'all about to have a moat parade up there, you know? Y'all painted the, what y'all call it, Pink City, you know? Kosher swine. That's not the law. Y'all, half of y'all don't believe in the Messiah. So where's this, where's this swine coming into play? Kosher, and there's no such thing as a kosher swine. It is an abomination unto you. He chew if not the cud. It's because you try to make him eat something that ain't, you know, that's, that's against his nature. doesn't make him a clean animal. The Most High still ain't dealing with him. You know? Not even going to get into the physical aspects. I mean, you know, they don't have sweat glands, man. You know, all foods have toxins. You know? That's just how it is, man. There's things that got to be sifted out. And uh, certain animals, they sift them out when it comes to land animals, ruminants. You know. Anyway, man, and people ain't the people because the scriptures tell you that if we if we fail to uphold these these uh, these laws, statutes, and commandments as a nation, then we will be punished as a nation. And it's depicted over and over in the scriptures. Kingdoms getting split up, people going into captivity under other nations. You know. The Israelites always went into captivity under some other nation, and what was what was it uh, what was it a consequence of? Going disobeying the commandments, 
worshiping other gods, so on and so forth. It was always a consequence of that. So, you know, you know that's ain't that what y'all doing? Even when you, uh, when, even when I seen that interview, there was an interview where it was asked to this one of them forty eighters that said, uh, "Is it true that all nations will be, ser you know, servants under the, uh, the Jews or whatever?" And he said, "Well, yes. If you know, if all the Jews come back to be good little Jews, then all the servants will be." So wait a minute. So wait a minute. So you, what you're telling me is, you understand the blessings, but you don't acknowledge that the curses should be upon you niggas. Because you just because he said, if all the Jews come back and be good little Jews, so you understand that this is a nationwide thing. Okay, you understand that, right? And you understand that that's why Yahweh about Shimei was shot to destroy two thirds of the house of Israel, Israel here in America, Babylon the Great, and also purge the rebels after he gathers his people from the four corners. He's gonna have to kill the ones that don't work, that don't want him to be ruler over them. You know. So you understand that all the, all the uh, people of Israel got to come back and repent before we can have the other nations as slaves. But you don't acknowledge that a uh, direct consequence of disobeying the commandments and not receiving those blessings is either one or the other. Either you're getting blessed or you're going into slavery and you're going to have a nation over you and you're going to have this, this, that, and that, and that, and the other going on. But right now, from the way it looks, y'all got the upper hand, you know? Y'all are able to use uh, sneak tactics and, uh, you know, hey, man, y'all got, y'all military might looking like can't nobody fuck with y'all right now, you know, because y'all using y'all lap dog, you know, okay, uh, America, man, you know, bombing uh, different things and doing this and that, and, you know, it's funny as hell, man, because I just seen a movie last night, that's really the spirit, man, I seen this movie, I don't know if I'm gonna do something different on it or what. I do like a it's all separate review but it's this movie with that dude uh michael b johnson i think the dude who played killmonger you know and i'm, I'm gonna say spoiler alert for brothers that ain't seen it i think it's called espionage so if you ain't seen the movie espionage then you know spoiler alert uh so basically they had um uh I'm gonna try to be as brief as I can, you know, like not spoil too much. I'm gonna try, but, you know, uh, it's gonna spoil some of it. Uh, basically, the guy was, you know, he was in the, it was in the army, and uh, he went on this mission, and he didn't really know what was going on. He was like, what's going on with this mission? Like, this mission is weird as hell. You know, uh, yo, this shit don't look right. You know, you said it was gonna be these people here, and it's these people here. What the fuck going on? And it's funny the two players that was in there, man, the two nations that was involved in it. But basically, uh, you know, so 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 his family ended up dying uh, after that mission. His wife, his pregnant wife, got killed, and so he like track. He, he killed some of the guys, you know what I'm saying? Because he's like top tier, special elite, whatever. So he killed some of them niggas, and then uh, come to find out, it was the same nation of people that they had killed in that little mission. It was from the same nation. So he's like, oh, this is weird. So he finds out later, like, all right, um, I'm trying to be vague about it. He finds out later, like, okay. It's a lot of people. I'm trying to see, do I need to turn right again? Yeah. Uh, so let me finish. So, so one of the guy gets away. They both injure each other or whatever. And one of the guy gets away. And so he does what he got to do to find out who the dude is. So after he tracks the dude down, the dude's like, look, bro, I work for the CIA. He's like, really? I'm, I work for the CIA, which you remember that whole Osama Bin Laden shit where, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of came out that he was actually an agent. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Of course, there's going to be this deception about it. They ain't going to they gonna come out and tell you that. But um, that's what was said, all right? And... Um, so dude, you know, it was basically a setup, man. You know what I'm saying? It was it was intended to start a war. That was the reason why they they everything, the whole shit was a setup. From his from the mission to his wife getting killed to everything. The whole shit was a setup from the beginning. And they want to start a war with this other country, man. You know? So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is these people do these people are able to do shit and paint a narrative 
and, you know, and the dude even said, he was like, look, the reason we did it is because whenever there's a war, our people are united and also it stimulates the economy when we uh when we make all these weapons and sell these weapons and stuff. It stimulates our economy. You see? They basically told you flat out, and we know the bankers are behind behind a lot of this shit, man. You know? So it is what it is, man. It's just funny to see all this shit happening. Knowing, understanding that this shit is all like a it's all orchestrated. Ultimately, the person, the, the one who's orchestrating it is how about Shane was shot. All right, the most has orchestrated this. He wants this to happen in the way it's happening. But it's just funny to see these back and forth of, oh, yeah, you did this, no, you did that, I did that, man. All right, man. You know? When, when the real people are in the land, ain't none of that shit going to happen, man. Human nation is going to be beat to powder, man. Utterly broken into pieces. They're going to have to lie and paint the narrative. Motherfuckers are going to see it before their eyes. And they're going to be afraid, you know? And then when they get through being afraid and uh, they decide they want to act right and, you know, I ain't going to say get through being afraid but when they decide they want to act right and right, keep the laws, statutes, and commandments that we are going to force upon them, then they'll get treated fairly. Alright? Because that's how the Most High is. The Most High is just and equitable. If you do righteously, he will, you know. But after that's after a thousand years of captivity, man. That's coming. You ain't gonna be able to skip the captivity, man. That's got that's gotta happen. You see? It's gotta happen. It's only right. Because that's how that's what happened to the children of Israel, man. We went into captivity. For our iniquities. The same thing gonna happen to you heathens. And hey, you and you Edomites. You so-called white people, man. You Edomites got it coming, man. You 48ers. You know, all the all of you nations that, that go back to Esau, you gonna get the worst. You gonna get the shit end of the stick. The shit end. Doo-doo. That's it. You know? Eradicated from the face of the earth, man. But the simple fact is, y'all y'all really y'all was sit here, the most I sent you here to do it. But y'all are the cause of the issues in the world, man. You know? It's y'all fault. Y'all are y'all are playing the role of the spiritual demon Satan. You know? Y'all are playing his role right now. Y'all doing his dirty work. You see? And there's a punishment that comes with that. And, and those of our people that, that team up with you, they're going to get punished as well. See, those are our people that decide they want to be with you on, on, on your uh, ventures of uh, uh, perpetrating wickedness. Well, they got to die too. Thus saith the Lord. That's what the scriptures say. You know, the scriptures say, in, in the land, two thirds, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay, but he will, he will save the third part. He will bring them through the fire. So, two thirds of the house of Israel got to go. And that's, in, and that's in here. That's in America, Babylon, the great. See? As a Nespolis. So, hey. You just so happen to be in America and you, you, you hear this word, you know, and you don't take heed, the Lord's going to kill you, man. The Lord's going to blow your ass up. And if you think you can run away and go somewhere else, that's why the scriptures say the fisher shall turn into hunters, man. All right? So, what's going to happen is you can run, you try to run away if you want to. All right, go to another country. You're still going to have to face the music, all right? After this place gets destroyed, you know, people just going to get gathered up, man. You're going to have a decision to make. All right? You're going to have a decision to make, man, if you make the wrong decision. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. Ultimately, even that 
that's not up to us. That's up to you how much you have shot. We just pray. All right, we hope and pray that we'll be found uh, in his graces, in his mercy when that time comes up. Can't force it. The scriptures say Romans 9 is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the most high, you know, the most high calleth these people to their purposes. You know? You can run and run to your head, your lungs, you're ready to pop, you beat your head against the wall to the turn to the white meat. You know, there ain't nothing you can do. That's the most high and not chosen you. That's it. Anyway, so, you know, I just want to talk about that, man. You know, I'm trying to stay tuned into the news, man. These, you know, these, these talks and these going back and forth. So, man, over our land, man, it's ridiculous. But it has to, it has to come to pass. These things have to happen, you know. The most I still got to pop off World War III. We wait on the, we wait on the, the chip ahoy, you know. Wait on the uh, World War Three, you know. Race riots still gotta happen, you know. They're all in the works, but it's all on the Most High's time. They ain't on our time. It's on the Lord's time. What these people do? You see, it's all on the Lord's time, man. So hey, I'm not gonna drag it out too much longer, man. I just. I said, want to speak about that, Lord, willing, that was edifying, you know. We got to get up out of this place, man. You know, this place is oppression, you know. And two-thirds of the house of Israel don't, don't see it as such. It's because they're not wise. The scriptures say, my people perish for a lack of knowledge, man. Since you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. And you shall be no priest unto me. They're not going to be a part of that first dominion, okay. Not happening. Surely a preacher making a wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. These little trinkets are destroying the heart of two thirds of the house of Israel, man. So with that, I'm gonna give all the glory and praise to Yahweh by Shimmy Abashai, by Hashem Rakhakodash, Lord willing, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone. Be blessed and salutations to the hopeful elect, Lord willing, this is edifying. Alright, Shalom.